Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Amnesia The Dark Descent. You might be asking yourself, why am I playing this like decade old game? Not, okay, almost a decade, not quite, but the reason for this is because when I was first getting into watching YouTube, this was the game that got me into it. Like this was really the first Let's Play that I watched. And that's back in like middle school. I mean, that's a long time ago. Ugh, that makes me feel old. Um, but they just came out, Frictional just came out with Amnesia Rebirth, the sequel, the like legitimate sequel to this game. And it looks fantastic from what I've seen. And I really want to play it, but it's been so long since I just watched this game and I never really got to experience it for myself. I figured, you know what? Why not do a let's play of Amnesia The Dark Descent, the real first Amnesia that got everything started? Um, and then after that, if I'm not scared to death, uh, we'll start Rebirth. So hopefully this will go all right. Um, if I decide to pause and I'm not doing anything, it's because I got a nice old chocolate chip pop tart here and I will be eating to hide my fear. Um, so, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more Amnesia, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to really get into this Let's Play. Um, so, without further ado, let's start new game. I'm not doing hard mode. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. Is there a My name is Daniel. Oh I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Can I get up? Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. God, my vision is blurry. Okay, mementos. Ah, fuck. Cool. Good to know. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna look around because... I do remember these. I'm not gonna light that. There's too much light already. That's not worth anything. I I really don't want to go anywhere in this game already. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that this is a full-on horror game, and it may not seem that scary because I oh stop falling. You're fine, Daniel. Jesus Christ. Oh God. Sorry. Okay. More matches. Daniel, I swear to God, get yourself together, sir. All oh, the tender bucks it is. Throw the pot. Can you stand up straight? Good Jesus. Take take the broom. No. Take the broom. Use it as like a walking stick. Stand on stand on it. Support yourself. 
throw up here. Jesus. Okay. Oh, oh, that way. I don't even know. What footsteps were those? Why were there footsteps? Oh god! No oh god! Fucking crawl, Daniel, crawl! Come on, get get your butt up! God! Okay, that's nice. <laughs> nope, fuck that. Bye. Okay, turn it around. No, oh. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on, I gotta pop, uh, pop tart time. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Alright, Daniel, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Why is it so goddamn dark in here? Is it unprofessional to be eating this Pop Tart? I don't know. I'm gonna still do it. Strong arms. I really don't want to go in there. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that yet. Oh the path leads that way though. Anything in here? This is just a room of paintings. Whoa! Okay, I'm leaving. God, I'm such a little bitch, but that got me. You know, I'm still wondering where all this wind is coming from. Stop breathing. Like, there's no holes in the wall. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. Can you relax, sir? What? What? It's a, they're wretched. They're bugs. Get over yourself. God. Get. You're fine, sir. Uh, is there another? No, there's not. Okay. Okay. So I have to go in that way. Take it with me. Fuck you. Take that book. What is this? No idea. It's a book. My English professors would be very disappointed in me. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. So well, what what can I do? There's no other way through. Was there another way? Am I dumb? What? I'm 
Am I an idiot? Am I straight blind? There's not another door, is there? Do I... Oh god. Liquid trail. It... it's... Still going that way. Am I just really dumb? Oh? Just my audio or is it something in the game because it's terrifying me? No! Ah! No ma'am. We don't we don't appreciate this. Oh. This one's not open? No, okay, well. Shit. You know what? Why don't we just stay here by this nice warm fire, get warm, get cozy. Um, there's not a bed in this room, but I think we can make it work. You know, I really don't think we need to find the source of this blood trail. Is this full of fume? Oh, okay. Sure. Let's have to get used to that. What is this? Broken bottles. Oh, no. Okay. Um, of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both. Daniel, descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, damn. Honestly, why did you forget? Good job, me. Honestly, I feel like there is not much reason for you forgetting. Why did you forget right now? I have no idea. Oh, damn. That's aggressive. Okay. Mm. Oh, I forgot that there is a running motion. Why is that been telling you now? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, 
It lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Uh -huh. You can crouch. You can crouch through that. Come on, get on your belly. from me. Oil, oil, oil. I don't know if- oh, do I want to go in there yet? That seems like a very distinct direction of, like, no return. Let's go up. There are so many ways to go and I don't like it. Jesus Christ. Oh god, okay. Oh well that's locked off. Where does this go? Okay, well. Oh, no, we were in the old archives. Okay. This is like very uh, lovely. Rare books. I'm not gonna touch that because oftentimes in horror games, when you touch notes or other things of importance, bad shit happens. So we're gonna touch that last. Except that's the only thing we touch in this room. And 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Here's the thing. This is why y'all don't take shit that don't belong to you. Don't go into somebody's tomb and take their shit to put it in a museum. That's just fucking bad karma waiting to happen. This is why you're here, Daniel. This is why you're here. You decided to fuck yourself over. Also, um, in that last note, there were mentions of things that are in the newest game, but I'm not going to say anything about them because um, we're not there yet. We're not gonna. We're gonna go through this story first, and then we're gonna experience that story, hopefully. Books. Okay. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, 
I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. That is unfortunate, not gonna lie. But you know that karma I was telling you about? Yes, that's some karma. Alright, wait, hold up. Hold up. We were... Sounds like making sounds that sound like footsteps. What's in this room down here? Oh, we're gonna... I have nine of those. They're funny. Just light a little bit. Oh god! I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am very sorry. I also keep forgetting I have a goddamn lantern. You yeah, know. Fuck. Oh no, there is music playing in that room now. I. Mm, mm, no. There was not music in there before. Can I open this? No, just throw it around like a scared little child because that is what I am, you know. <laughs> Any comfort? Oh. I don't want to. No. There's like a constant like sound of things around me and I hate it so much. Cause I don't know what I should be worried about. Oh nice, yes, but I don't know what's you know not a problem. And what is a problem? What 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 should I be worried about here, friends? Oh stop! Stop making weird sounds in my ear, please. Ah. Naps, naps, naps. Okay. Um. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Oh, these are little maps. I don't know 
any of where I am. Oh, okay, so the western hall, oh, is that like the big long hall? I'm not going to know where the fuck I am this entire game. Let's go into the room with the busted up fucking... No! Well, that was... Oh, I have so much oil. Shit. I need it so much. Oh! Oh! That- what? Why couldn't I read that? Why are you freaking out? Sir? 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, do I have to walk My weakened there? body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. Oh. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most... Oh, the fucking piano is playing again. Alright, well where the hell am I supposed to go? Yeah, you're fucking trapped. door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Must find a new way out of this area. Cool. Awesome. Um, can I... Crouch a button up right in the black hand, so I'm missing something. Whoops, that's not it. I want this thing. Oh, maybe I don't it. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. I... Yeah. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Oh, fuck. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay. So there's one here. Brandenburg Castle, 1801. I apologize if I butcher any of these words. I am not good at this language. Another region which with lore is Alstadt. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. So we are in Prussia. Uh, the quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ooh, no. 
any, ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motives that keep appearing. Is this how I go to the next page? Yes, okay. Uh, the Gatherers. Oh, shit. We got lore. Mm. Alright, The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to seal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap, bur damp burlap sacks. Ah, mm, uh, ruined the atmosphere, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? I don't know. A visit undone. Henrik Cornelius Agrippa. That's a name I remember. The well-known erudite visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. Again, don't, don't go digging shit up. Stop. Bad idea. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. See? See? He fucked up. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grindelwald some ten years later. But then how the fuck did he get out? What? How the fuck did he get out of the glades? Anyways, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Uh, the Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, Alstadt. And like most of those of noble birth, oop, can't read, rumors are inherited alongside, alongside with the title. Excuse me, that was the Pop-Tart. Researching the history reveals literally before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands. Rhin- Rhinelands? That's like a French term, right? The- the Rhine- Rhine River? Uh, anyways. Claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never fully been recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Ma'am, what? Wait, hmm. But, hmm. So, I thought Alexander wasn't dead. Why are we, are we, are we? This just made me more confused. Let's break more glass. Yeah. Oh, that one's already broken. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Time to... I'm guessing this is locked. Yes, okay. <gasps> Oil! Leave all things open in case of needing to run because there's a key there. So, any, any important things? Any secret, secret items for me to find? Ah, another note. We're gonna stop wasting oil in here. Okay. <sighs> Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessel. The what? <laughs> the sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. What? What? It's just a matter of time until I follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Willem and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Well, um, 
Um, more confusion. Am I safe? I thought I needed a key for that. It's not so bad. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the locked door. Okay. Ah! wonderful place to leave the first episode um i'm gonna stop here avoiding the palsy red plush and i will see you guys in the next episode remember if you enjoyed seeing me get scared out of my pants uh remember to hit the like button subscribe to my channel to watch me get more scared out of my pants um and i will talk to you guys later okay bye bye